In the year 2022, one young man named James Raven set out to explore the neighborhood of Midtown here in Memphis, the beautiful land in the world. This is that journey. All right, guys, I'm here at Compass Midtown. This school is awesome. It's located right here in Midtown, really the heart of Midtown. It's a charter school. Uh, got about 340 students this year, so a little bit more of their enrollment keeps going up. Pretty awesome. Um, it's in its fourth year, so it's still a very young school. It used to be a Catholic school actually here at this building, uh, but now it is a, you know, charter school. Um, awesome uh, place, really. It's pretty, pretty sick. Um, it is about 50% uh, black students, black enrollment, and then about 50% uh, Latino um, enrollment, so really about 50-50 those um, a little bit of white students but that's about the breakdown uh, demographically um, but the high school it's a high school so you got 9 through 12 um, and yeah really cool place um, yeah let's uh, get inside there and this is the classroom that I'm gonna be co-teaching in uh, this year um, yeah looking around um, that's Nathan he's awesome or Mr. Combs, as the students will know. Um, yeah, so we're inside of the school now. Uh, we will have 11th graders mostly for chemistry, uh, a little bit of ACT prep, uh, but super excited to be in the classroom here at uh, Compass. All right, yeah. here at the local CVS. Um, it's a little minute clinic as well. This is the closest one to my central location, Midtown, Compass Midtown. Um, coming in just under a mile at a whopping 0.9 miles. Um, so. Not too far, um, basically, you know, the minute clan, you come in for all your basic needs. Um, yeah, just around the corner. And uh, it's a CVS pharmacy as well, so stock up on Arnold Palmer's, that's what I recommend doing, for sure. Uh, first off, I just wanna let you guys know that I accidentally took like three photos before this, wondering why the heck this video wasn't starting, so now I got those to delete off my phone. Uh, but anyway, I'm here at Cash Saver um, on uh, Madison Avenue, um, yeah, a good 0 0.6, 0 0.5 miles away from a central location. Um, this is a pretty cheap, it says cost plus food outlet. Um, it is pretty cheap um, place to come get groceries, a good grocery store. Um, it is kind of crazy. Uh, this is just pretty close down the road from what people might refer to as the bougie Kroger. Um, so it really does prove like in Memphis, you can literally just go one street over um, and like the like bougie, like it's gone. Like this is more um, of like a cheaper option uh, and not as high quality and um, still has food, great food um, and, and close by, which is good. But uh, it does kind of show like in Memphis, it really is level by level which is kind of sad but you know what's right across the street is you probably can't see it here but crumpies get their hot wings phenomenal uh here in midtown just great um see you the next place all right everybody i'm here at the first south financial credit union uh wherever the sign is yeah um this place was the first credit union in the south no i just made that up but their name is first south so you know, they also have a walk, drive up uh, ATM. Who doesn't love getting money um, out of the bank? Um, don't know if this place gives good loans or whatever, but uh, I'm a big Bank of America guy, but hey, it's only 0.3 miles away from Compass Midtown, my central location. So you might as well give it a try. And right across the street is Huey's, which we love Huey's, um, best burgers in Midtown. So try it out. All right, guys, I'm here at Idlewild Presbyterian Church. Uh, why, you might ask? One, because it's a church here in town, Presbyterian uh, denomination. Uh, pretty old, uh, extremely old building, very beautiful. Uh, I wish I could go in. Um, unfortunately, it's like 5 o'clock on a Friday, so there's no shot anybody's here. Uh, but also why I'm here is they have this early enrichment center that they, uh, so basically daycare, um, and yeah they call it the early enrichment center it's for like preschool you know the younger kids uh but they house it right here um in the back of this building which is much newer uh uh but yeah so it's uh yeah a church here in midtown also the closest uh child care center to my 
middle of the city, you know, Compass Midtown, best school there is um, in Midtown, you know. Uh, but yeah, that's only 0.5 uh, miles away. Um, and you, for all you guys with young kids out there, you, you MTR grads who are getting married and stuff, uh, this place, bring your kids, have a day night. I'm just kidding, but they will get enriched. That is the goal of this center. Uh, but yeah, just take a look at how beautiful this is once again, uh, without my face in the way. There you go. Peace out. Much love. I'm back here at the Mapco convenience store here in Midtown, uh, located at the corner of Belvedere and Poplar. Um, you know, I had to, you know, grab an Arnold Palmer while I was here. And man, this junt ain't got no Takis, but you know, we stay strapped with the Flaming Hot Cheetos. It ain't too bad, it ain't too bad. So I, I'll give the Mapco at least a you know, four out of five just because it had no Takis, but you know, we out here, we trying to stay hydrated. You know, it's hot as, as frick, man. It's hot. All right, peace out. All right, so the next stop is here at the closest clothing store. Um, it is named Rainbow. So fellas, as you may have guessed, uh, this clothing store is not for you. It's actually a, a woman's clothing store. Um, but if you need to get, you know, a birthday gift or uh, anniversary or you know, whatever the heck you guys do that actually have anniversaries. Um, a single gang. Um, yeah, so uh, this is the place to go. It's only point, uh, four miles from our center, Compass Midtown. Uh, pretty close, uh, but yeah, got shoes, uh, clothes. You know, really anything a woman needs. So, um, fellas, you're out of luck, but that's all right. Peace out. And one haircut later. Hey, what up, guys? Um, I'm here with Chevy, my guy. He's over there somewhere. Um, we're exploring Midtown, and we're here at the North Branch Library. Um, it's on over here on Valentine. Valentine. I don't know how to pronounce anything. Um, Avenue here. Um, it's kind of North Midtown. Uh, might even be outside the boundaries, but hey, as a true Midtowner, I make up my own boundaries of this place, so I'm counting this. Anyway, uh, we are going to check in and uh go inside so let's uh let's start heading in all right guys we're actually here in the library gotta be a little quieter because you know we're inside but did you know that the memphis public libraries um they have more than just books they got computers a lot of people come in and use computers they got some movies but they can also like help you file your taxes help you find a job um they provide a lot of services um along with um some great books uh, all right guys i'm here at crosstown concourse uh right in the heart of midtown um i'm here at choose 901 uh they're a program that really has a big heart for memphis and i'm here with my friend jeff he's going to just explain their mission for a little bit yeah i'm jeff uh, i work with uh, city leadership better known as uh, around around memphis is choose 901 um, but we do a lot for promoting Memphis, a big megaphone for great things going on in the city. Uh, social media, website, we promote, you know, events going on, things to do, um, and just, yeah, positive news about Memphis. Um, we do a lot to partner with MTR and uh, other nonprofits around the city, uh, helping them raise money uh, and, and various ways to help advance their mission. So uh, we're all about making Memphis better. Definitely highly recommend uh, working with city leadership, getting to know them, especially Jeff. He's awesome. Uh, really is. But uh, I'll see you guys at the next location. Sign out. Much peace. All right, guys. Last but not least, uh, we got our Croc Center here. I came strapped with the Crocs just to prepare. Um, this place is basically like your YMCA, but so much cooler. Um, it's put on by the Salvation Army. Their heart is really for people, putting on programs. Um, developing your fitness uh, through they have aquatics they have a big pool um, they have a bunch of fitness stuff fitness classes um, also if you need to ship off your kids because they're annoying you uh, this place is the place to do it it's got after school care it's got summer camps it's got pretty much everything to help prepare um, kids in sports um, as well as fitness uh, so place super cool um, highly recommend um, get in a membership now let's talk about the schools we got Compass Midtown, the best school here in Midtown. It's a charter, 9 through 12. We got Snowden School, very nice. Public, K through 8 school. Midtown Montessori, if you're looking for kind of thing. Private, K through 8. Idle Wild Elementary, public, K through 5. Memphis Academy of Science and Engineering. 
Charter 6 through 12, Central High School, Public 9 through 12, Bellevue Middle School, Public 6 through 8, Bruce Elementary, another public school, it's K through 5, First Class Montessori, also Montessori, but only for the young kids, private, K through 2, Grace St. Louis Episcopal School, heard great things about this place, private, K through 8, uh, Valentine Elementary School, public, eight through f- K through 5, Immaculate Conception Cathedral School, also private, K through 8, and Perea Elementary School, Charter, K through 5. First off, I would like to thank Chevy Redmond who's, for staying up late and being my cameraman and being with me for all these takes, which have been a lot. But anyway, let's get into the demographics of Midtown. So the population is roughly 64,000, which is about a tenth of Memphis's whole population, so a pretty good chunk. Most of these statistics are coming straight from the U.S. Census Bureau. So let's get into the racial demographics. About 33% of the population is white, about 61% are black, with 2.5% being Hispanic, 1.5% being Asian, which includes a pretty good Vietnamese community that's actually right down the street here at Crosstown. I haven't been able to get to the restaurant yet, but that is on my bucket list. And then there's about 2% that identifies either mixed or another racial group. So now let's go to the financial demographics. So the average household income is about 69,000 with the mean household income being about 34 and a half. But the bottom 20% is only makes 7.5 thousand per year, which is, is not a lot. Now it's for the education breakdown. 49% of people here in Midtown have a high school diploma, with 35% having a higher degree of some sort, either being a bachelor, an associate's degree, PhD, doctorate, so on. But 16.4% of people here in Midtown do not have a high school diploma, which is why it's so important for us to raise up this next generation so they can help lower that percentage right? And we can change the world here in Memphis, right? So we start here, as you see the map behind me, we start right here in, that's Nashville, Memphis. I still, I just moved here. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm from like way over here. But anyway, starts one kid at a time here in Memphis, and we can do this thing. 